It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to add multiple fingerprints onto an Android device. So, if you have pretty much any Android phone that has a fingerprint reader, so not one that you have to put in the code or something, one that actually has a fingerprint reader you can touch and then it unlocks. If you have a fingerprint reader, then you can probably add more than one fingerprint so that you could use this finger most of the time and then maybe sometimes you want to use this finger or this finger so you could use any real finger any finger that you want not that you usually couldn't set up all of your fingers but the main ones that you may want to use then you can set those up so in this episode Timmy's going to show you how to do that so just get your Android phone Timmy's using a Google Pixel 2 so it doesn't have to be a Google Pixel just any phone with a fingerprint reader on it and on the Google Pixel, the fingerprint reader is on the back, so you just tap it, tap on the fingerprint reader, and it unlocks. So that's what a fingerprint reader does. So then you go on your phone and pull down once to bring up your notifications, and then once again to bring up this control panel thing, and just tap on the cog icon. It may look a little different if you're using Android 7 or 6, because this is Android 8. So you can just scroll down, down to security and location. If it's a different version of Android, it may just say security or something like that, but roughly the security thing. And then come down on the Google Pixel, it's under device security, and it's called pixel imprints, but if it's not a Google Pixel, it may just say something like fingerprint reader or fingerprints. So just find that and tap on that and you'll see it says under it four fingerprint setup because Timmy's already set up four of them and you need to enter your pin in order to get in so you just enter your pin so either your pin or your pattern depending on what you have so when you set up the fingerprint reader you also have to set up either a pin or a pattern that way if your fingerprint fails or your finger gets cut off or something like that you can still access your phone so type in the pin or pattern or whatever it is and then just press enter and then you're into the fingerprints so at you'll see all the ones that are currently in and there's a trash can next to them on the right hand side and you can tap on that but then down the bottom here there's add fingerprint so if you just tap add fingerprint so you need to, to now you need to whichever finger you want to add to it so any finger you need to repetitively place that on the fingerprint reader and move it move it around a little bit so that it will understand all the different times so if you moving if you're pressing on it from a different angle it will always understand and then it comes up and says fingerprint added when you see the, this icon use your fingerprint for identification so then just tap done and now the fingerprint is added so now if you block your phone and tap the new finger on the fingerprint reader it unlocks so that's really cool and that's how it's done that'll be the end of this episode of tech time with timmy bye